Hi guys! So today is my what's in my bag video. I'm going to be looking in the viewfinder a lot because I'm going to be showing you stuff so I want to make sure that it's um, in frame. But this is my bag. I got it from Bloomsbury. It's like this or Bloomsbury. <laughs> I got it for a hundred dollars and I am really happy with the purchase. I was thinking back and forth about this bag a lot and I finally <laughs> was standing in the store and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it because I've been looking for a bag like this for a long time. Okay, so um, I just also want to give this bag some love as well though because I've actually been using this bag like the whole month of um, December and January because I just got it for Christmas um, and I got it early. <laughs> early-ish um, December so um, it was for Christmas though and it was kind of a requested present so <laughs> it's like a cheating present but I love it and it's more casual of a bag it can be held this way which I like because I can put my laptop in it and then it can also be held like this but it'll look like this and it's really casual I could just throw it on and it's, I, I just like it because I can get my stuff really easy and it's like more shallow so I can see all my stuff simply and get access to it right away. First thing out of my bag is my makeup bag which I got from Origins. It came with my skincare and um, it was free so can't hate that and I like the pattern actually. So, I don't know if you guys want to see this stuff inside my makeup bag, but I'll just speed through it, just so you guys know. Um, I have my blush brush from um, Real Techniques. I love Real Techniques brushes because um, they're affordable and they're really soft and they're synthetic. I also have the Voluminous False Lashes Mascara. I've, I've been trying different mascaras because I've been using the original Voluminous Mascara and I just wanted to change so I tried this and I really like it. It makes my lashes really long. I only have one coat because I'm only allowed to wear a certain amount of makeup at work. I work at Abercrombie & Fitch by the way and it's like a more natural look. I think I have too much makeup on as it is right now so <laughs> cheating a little bit but um, yeah. I have my blush. It's from Tarte. It's called Doll Face. Oh this is my favorite hand cream in the entire world. Um, since I'm so picky about scents, I actually don't like hand cream and stuff unless I like the smell of it. But this smells so good. It smells like Chanel Mademoiselle. Um, a girl on YouTube told me, well, she didn't tell me about this, but I watch her videos and uh, Ingrid from Miss Glamorazzi, she was talking about this and um, she said it smelled like Chanel Mademoiselle so I had to go try it and it does and it feels amazing and the quality of the cream is really good too. It's from Soap and Glory and I got mine from Sephora for like five dollars. It's kind of pricey but me and scents have to go well so it's totally worth it. Um, and then I have my Urban Decay Zero and Whiskey from my Naked Palette. I have a question, you guys. Should I get the Naked Palette too? I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. Like, I do like the original one, but I don't know. Should I? Should I? I don't know. What do you guys think? And then I have my Contact Juice, because never know when you're going to need that. Eyelash curlers, Shu Urimora, or however you say that. And I'm a lipstick fiend. I have like three Lenars lipstick fan. Because it smells like lemon. It doesn't smell like vanilla. And the texture's nice. And I love it. I love NARS um, lipsticks. I have it in Shiop, which is like this uber bright pink. It's a matte pink too, which is rare, so I like that. And then we have my everyday that I mostly wear if I'm not going to work. It's Funny Face. It's like a raspberry red. I've worn it in another video before. And then we have um, Cruising. Yeah. So this one's like my pale nudie pink color. So I love that. And then Burt's Bees. I know I'm not vegan. I'm sorry. I'm going to use the rest of it and then start looking for a vegan one. And then I have a random little kabuki brush. So, yeah. 
that's my makeup. The last thing out of my purse is this wristlet. Um, I actually got this for Christmas a couple years ago, a lot of years ago actually, and um, it fits my camera. I do have a really cute keychain on it though. It's a little um, Harry Potter keychain, and it's like Lego Harry Potter, <laughs> so I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Oh, my camera. If you guys are wondering what model it is, it is the Canon S95. I don't actually use all its features, but I just like point, shoot, beautiful, that's it. I'm good to go. And then I have a little emergency bag. It has a little pig on it. I don't know, I have a lot of pigs in my room. Maybe if I do a room tour, you'll see all the pigs that I have. But I love this. And it has... Um, pads and tampons in there for my little emergencies and um, I would also put like my doll or something in here. I have a pear because I'm going to go to work and I like to carry fruit or food around with me. I don't know, I used to have like my, oh, <clears throat> this would also be in my bag but I was refilling it so, but this is my happy trekking trail mix, so delicious get from Trader Joe's and it's like my favorite trail mix and I would bring that to work too. And then of course my wallet which I got for Forever 21. It's like really cheap and cheesy but I mean it's a wristlet too so I like that. And then um yeah I just have cash, checkbook. I actually found a checkbook. Carolyn I found a checkbook and it's from Chase so I'm like oh I can actually use this. And this is my ID in case you guys are curious. I look like a tanned freak. There's the side pockets. It has like these little side pockets on each side. And one side I would have my phone. It's an iPhone 3GS with like purple case type thing. And then I would also have my keys have it on a little rubberized thing, and this is um, the Supreme Master uh, TV.com thing, and it's, I went to a musical, it's called The Real Love, and it was such a good musical, I loved it, it made me cry, and I laughed, and everything was really good, so there's that, and there's also, um, I have another cute keychain, Harry Potterness. You guys know what that stands for? Hmm. True Harry Potter fan would know, of course, without reading. <laughs> and then um, the other side looks like this. I went to the Universal Studios Harry Potter thing, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, but I call it Harry Potter Land. <laughs> and I got that while I was there. And then I also have this little keychain. So that was my bag. Now it's all empty. But I like that it has a strap too. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it comes with a strap, so it's really good for the airport and things like that. So that was the secrets of my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, shout out to Selena who requested it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye. Mwah. I'm a bag lady. I usually... <sighs> bra was showing, so I have to do that again. It's really hot in here. And then, um, I got this from Amy, my friend. So sweet of her. It's like one of those Velcro things that you stick in your hair. And, um, it'll keep your hair back. I need some... Just kidding. I need some blush right now, so I'm gonna throw that on. this like a couple days ago and I love it. It's the Revlon Lip Butters. This one is in uh, Strawberry Shortcake. In case you guys are wondering, I have it on now. My sunglasses in there if um, I have them, but I have. So yeah, that was the secret. I think that will be all.